They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Way down tap. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot! With six tenths of a second remaining! YouTube, what's going on? East Kicks, Topics, and Reviews. Um, back with another... Um, actually, it's, it's kind of two videos in one. Um, a sneaker review of one of my favorite uh, shoes in my collection. And also, a uh, thought of a shoe that's re-releasing this year in the holidays that I actually got. And definitely one of the most hyped um, and anticipated Shoes that everybody been wanting. Finally, Jordan Brand is listening to people because people been wanting this shoe forever. So it took me a minute to, because I was gonna say this 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 review of this shoe for a minute, um, but the news dropped today, or at least I seen came across it um, on Instagram today, and I'm like, man, I might as well just oops. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm knocking my light out. Um, might as well go ahead and, um, you know, drop this video now since it's probably the topic. So I was holding on to this type of special video for a minute because the presentation of these shoes is just beautiful. So let me stop talking. I've been rambling with a mistake. Told you, no edits, all raw. Um, yeah. For all the sneakerheads out there, y'all pretty much know what this these shoes are. Because this is a, a a pack. And Jordan Brand, if you are listening, we want more of these. Countdown packs, all that. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. Obviously, this is one of the best ones. Presentation of these. So this might be a little long video. Just bear with me. Love the pre presentation of that box. Slide it out. We got double boxes stacked on top of each other. Um, and the crazy thing about this, these shoes probably go for probably 700 dead stock, maybe 800. I got these off eBay for like 300. Um, both old. One shoe is in bad, bad condition, falling apart. Uh, they already re retroed it, so I'm just going to get that. Both these shoes I'm going to replace with the newer versions and seal these up and just, I don't know, display these somewhere in a room somewhere. I don't know. So this is a lot. So you got this, that. Then you open it up, and this is where it gets good. Look at that. This shit is beautiful. Look at this. This is the Finding Moments uh, Jordan Pack. This is one of the best presentations to a shoe I've ever seen. So you've seen that. So now we're going to talk about the shoes. One shoe, it's already re-released, but I just have to show you uh, it because it's old. And I think I probably wore these like maybe once, maybe. I think they still might be wearable. But I don't know. I just haven't put them on. Um, yeah, the original, the original black and gold, uh, defining moment Jordan Six. Um, as you can see, separation has been glued. Uh, like I said, the bottom definitely back tab. That's how old the shoe. I'm pretty. Uh, I'm. I, I'm thinking this shoe is like. Uh, hold on. I don't know if it's like 08, 09, I don't know. I think it's 06. I might be wrong. I think it's 06 when this pack came out, when these dropped. So it's actually been a minute. I know these came out like a couple years ago or last year, something like that. I'm trying to see the tag, but I really can't see it. Because this is why I hate certain Jordans with the tag. Um, I can't really see, so I, I'm I'm assuming that it's probably like 06 or something like that. 
Um, if I'm wrong, correct me. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, sorry. I got to look this up because I, I don't want to give the wrong. I want to make sure. 2006. Yes. So I was right. 2006 when this pack was last released. So this is the 2006 the final moment black and gold Jordan. And like I said, right now, looking at it, I don't know if y'all can see that. That's what it's going for. $895. So about $900. So in my size, which is a size 9. Look at this. In a size 9. It's going for $2,000. And I got it for $300. Listen. So I pretty much gave away the other shoe, but whatever. Um, 2006, so I'm right. I love the, the, the doll tags, which, you know, definitely makes the shoe. But I remember when I first seen these shoes, these and the other shoes, I had to have these. But like I said, this is 2006. They falling apart. Um, like I said, I'm just going to replace those with the last pair of these and then seal these up or whatever. I only wore these for one time. I'm thinking they're still wearable. That's the crazy thing about it. Because I wore them one time. So I'm thinking they're still wearable. So that's that. Um, like I said, nothing in this one is telling, you know, um, what not. Now, the shoe in the video, basically. Uh, you already saw it. But beforehand, it comes with this little Jordan card, which is pretty dope. Um, and then Jordan himself stretched out, which is pretty dope. And then, of course, you got the two shoes, which, you know, it's pretty dope. That's why this is like the best presentation of a damn Jordan shoe or shoes. Now, talk of the town. Yes. The Define Moments, Jordan 11. Um, yes, they look like Concords, except they got hints of gold. And when I got these and I wore them for a little bit, as y'all going to see my bad paint job on these, the Jordan sign was falling apart. You can tell, like, right there, the feet, that's the goal. And it, the Jordan was falling apart. So it was just, like, pieces, like the foot. So I tried to use some gold metallic paint. I tried my best, but as you can see, I made a mistake, uh, not inside, but you know me personally, I don't care. As you can see, like I said, right there, where it's fading, I have to do that over again. But now that these are actually coming out on the holidays as the Jordan 11 for the year 2023, I can just wear these until they look whatever and then repaint them and seal them back up. Or display them somewhere. But these are definitely wearable. I don't wear these a few times. I'm definitely going to wear these. Probably the next time I do something. So definitely going to wear these. I've been wanting these for a minute. It's something about the gold on these. But I know the new ones coming out. Uh, they're going to be gold. Down the middle as you can see on the picture. That I got displayed. Um. Like I said, they're going to have the hints of gold right here saying, Jordan, I believe that's what it said. Then you know right here, they got Jordan right there. Um, I just think it's, 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 it's dope, man. I think it's dope that these are re-releasing. I'm finally glad. Like I said, I had these for about maybe three, four years now. And, I, and people have been asking about these forever. Even the back is still intact, which is cool. I thought this would have faded, um, but it didn't. Um, I'm so, 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 so happy because I love these. I'm going to have the concords in these regardless. I don't care. The concords is the concords, and then the final moments is the final moments because of the gold. I don't care. Um, same shoe, just gold. You know, with the concords and these, the final moments. Don't care. Um, 
I thought the material would feel better with an older shoe versus 11, but me personally, these are still, you know, not so comfortable with a newer pair of 11s. But like I said, I'm happy. I'm just going to re-replace the, the up-to-date with these, the final moments and the sixes. Um, and then put these and the older ones on display somewhere in the room or something like that. So, I mean, y'all tell me what y'all think. Like, I love this presentation. This is, like, the best thing in my collection, to be honest with you. So, I mean, the presentation, the box, everything, it's just dope. Jordan brand, please give us more countdown packs. Even if you re-retro them, the 11s, the 12s, like all that stuff, we want all the countdown packs. Make all make some new countdown packs with some retros. I don't know. Do it. Y'all will make money. I just can't believe that this pack goes for two thousand dollars in my size. In my size. I got these for a steal three years ago for three hundred dollars and this is why the, the shoe game is tricky like i said i was i couldn't get these no matter what anyway there weren't no no newer parodies anyway so i had to you know get these or you know pray or hope whenever the hell they re-retro which is this year so that's the tricky thing with um the shoe game so y'all tell me what y'all think what y'all think about these um, you just stick with the concourse. You really don't care. You really think these is, these is fly. I think these is fly. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll see y'all in the next video.